Hey everybody, it's Michelle here. So I just wanted to come on real quick um, before I finish some work. I'm, I'm, I'm literally in the middle of doing some work and processing orders. Um, oh Lord, this dog. But I just wanted to come on real quick. You know, I, I, I did a coaching call earlier. I'm sorry guys, but she's gonna not stop with the brush. So I did a coaching call earlier, and <sighs> this is a little trying. So <laughs> I have this one young lady that, um, actually two people, I did a coaching call with two people, and they're gung-ho about having multiple streams of income. And I am one that have, I am now, I'm not... I'm not fully, I'm not solely against having multiple streams of income. However, I know that it just doesn't work for everybody. Multiple Having multiple streams of income does not work for everyone. I was one of those people, well, I am one of those people that are very talented. I'm extremely talented. I'm gifted with the, the gift of being able to do certain things well. Um... And for me, back when I was running multiple businesses, it wasn't about me saying, oh, okay, I need to have multiple streams of income. I need to make sure I have money flow over here, money flow over there. I need to have this going, that going. It wasn't about that for me. It was about the fact that I can do multiple things well. Or I was good at this, and then I was good at that, and I was really good at this, and I was extremely well at that. And so... Hence, I had seven businesses running at one time. The problem with that, guys, and I know, you know, there, there's a lot of, right now, the new wave is you need to have multiple streams of income. That's the quickest way to make a whole lot of money and yada, yada, yada. What I have against that way of thinking or that using that type of platform to make a lot of money is that, one, it's not for everybody. Everybody does not do that well. Everybody, um, it, 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 we all have a ton of different things going on in our lives at different times, at different paces. It requires certain levels of us, you know, um, in order to get things done. And so for me personally, I know that where I am in my life and where I was a couple of years ago, it just did not work. Me running all these businesses and it took too much from me. And so the problem with that, the problem with, for me, in my opinion, in running multiple streams of, of having multiple streams of income and running multiple businesses is one, you're going to be running multiple businesses and you're one person. That is the, that is the problem with the whole idea of having multiple streams of income. Now, sure, the idea of having multiple streams of income is to have different types of ways that you're making the money, where it, you can have a physical exchange of money, where you know it, it's it's maybe a brick and mortar or something something where you have to physically be there in order to make the money. The other way is passive income, where you put something in place, you create a product product. Um, it can be digitally, digitally, digitally <laughs> distributed where it's already, it's a fixed product. It's already put together. You have it on your website. You market for it a little bit and people come, they sign up, they get it. It's a download or whatever. That's another stream of income. There are tons of other different ways to, to produce income. However, I think the misconception is that you don't have to be there in order for that money to be made. Guys, let me tell you, that is the furthest Thing from the truth this is my number one realization and that is that no matter how many businesses no matter what type of business no matter the platform you have that business on you are going to have to be there at I don't care what percentage you have to be there you still have to be there in order for that business to be as fruitful as, as you're thinking it can be now I am the type of person where now I have an under, I have that great understanding and I am running one to two businesses max. Now, really it's four. 
But the way that works is it's not, I'm not trying to run all of them at one time anymore. I am not, um, I'm not trying to divide myself amongst all four of these businesses anymore. They're not, they're not running at one time, full time, this one's full time, that one's full time, that one's full time, this one's quarter time, this one's part time. Like I'm just not doing that anymore in my life. Um, what happens is guys, you still have to market, excuse me y'all. Um, oh wow. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not trying to run all these businesses at one time because I'm one person. And what happens is because every single business, I don't care what it is, guys, I don't care what platform it is, it's on. I don't care how you run that business. That business has to still be marketed. That business has to have customer service. That business has to have an exchange of money. That business has to have tax dealings. That business has to have, have to have every single ounce of activity going on just as much as the other businesses. How can you divide yourself amongst all these businesses and be extremely fruitful in all these businesses at the same time? It is impossible for the, the individual. And I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is guys, you cannot think that it's and let me let me let me make something clear. Well, let me finish my, my point. You can't think that you would be able to have all these businesses, start all these businesses, run all these businesses at one time, and master all of these businesses at one time in order to be fruitful in all of these businesses at one time. So I really, 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 and truly want you to think about this. The one, the number one reason that people go into having multiple streams of income is because they think they have this this idea that I'm going to make a ton of money faster. That is the furthest thing from the truth. I had a t-shirt company. I have my graphic design and business support company. I had a um what else was I doing? Oh my goodness. I had my workshops, I had my coaching businesses. I had um, a business. What else was I doing? I can't even remember now. I had my bath and body company. So I had all these different businesses and they were all running at the same time. What, what, what I was doing with these businesses, I was nickeling and diming every single, op every single piece of operation that was happening. I was not able to put my one self into all of these businesses um, in such a capacity to where I can really and truly reap the benefits of the, the I don't know reap the benefits of of um, a full time running a full time running operation like I could not take enough of myself to to put into any one entity that I had running in order to realize the 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 um, return on my investment there was no way possible that I can do that. And, and of course, we all like to think that we're superwoman or superman and we want everything to be, you know, um, running full time and, you know, I'm getting calls over here, I'm getting calls over there, I'm getting emails, I'm getting orders and all that. Guys, even if that were to happen, how can you want, as one individual, manage it and then even manage a team to, for one operation and then manage a team for another operation and manage a team for another operation. It just doesn't make sense. So the people that do have these multiple streams of income, I can guarantee you that they did not jump into all these different businesses at one time. What happened more than likely, and it's the same thing that I did in order to see real results from any one of my businesses, on a full-time basis or even a part-time basis, what, what happened was they mastered one thing. They mastered that one thing and then they took that one thing and then they, they had it veer off into something else. You understand what I'm saying? So my goal, let me give you guys an example. I didn't realize that my multiple streams of income wasn't working until I saw a video by Tyler Perry. And he says, you need to marry that one thing. And I'm sure all of you have seen this video by now. But he's talking about your one thing. 
mastering that one thing. And if that one thing proves fruitful enough and you've mastered it and now you have an operation behind it, you have systems behind it to where it can run itself, you can go across the, you can go across the country and the business is still operating itself then you've mastered that business. Now that now it's a real business. It's no longer a hobby. Now it's a business. And so that business is now making money on its own. It's doing its own thing. Granted, now you take that business and you, you take a piece of that business and you have it streamlined into another source of income from you, but it, it veers, it, it, um, it's, it's a, it, it comes from the success of this business. Last night I was doing some journaling and I wanted to make sure I had it all figured out. I've, I've written this stuff down a million times for myself and I was like, you know what? I wanna make sure I have this, all, this whole thing figured out. So what I did, what I wanted to make sure I was doing, um, and this is something that I did previously to get to the point where I am now. And it works. <laughs> it freaking works. So what I did was I took one business idea and I said, I'm going to master this one business idea or this one business on this one platform. This is what I'm going to do. It's like every time I'm doing videos, I get a million alerts. But I'm going to master this one thing. I'm going to do everything I can to master this one thing. It, it involves doing vlogs and blogs. It involves showing doing certain types of product picks. It, it involves me going out, being with the people. It involves all these different steps. It involves me introducing new products. It involves me doing this, that, and the other. I'm going to master that. And once I see a really good return on my investment and my time into this one business platform, I'm going to then take that success from that business platform or success from that business venture and I'm going to turn it into something else, not even something else. I'm going to take it and have a leg from that one business over here and have a leg that go, that's going to go into that other in level of income. But it still, it still um, stems from that one foundational business that I have now mastered. That's honey milk. I hope you guys are following me. So honey milk is now going to serve as a catalyst for me to get to wherever it is that I need to get to in the other arenas that I'm really, really good at in my life and in my businesses. And so instead of me having a whole bunch of different levels of income, different multiple streams of income, I got this over here, I got this company over there and that company, all these different entities, guys. Instead of me doing that, I'm taking my one foundational business and I'm having legs of incomes on that, but it still comes back to that main source of income. And I think that's what people, the people just get a lot of um, confusion going in their brains about that because they think, oh, I need to start this company over here. I need to start that company over there. I need to do this type of work over here. I need to do that type of work over here. Now I have my seven streams of income doesn't necessarily work that way. I think that um, the, the, the smartest way to do it, and this is just my opinion, who am I, you know? But I strongly believe that the, the, the biggest, the strongest opinion in that, guys, I'm sorry, the strongest, the, the smartest way to do that is to build one foundational business and to master that business, master the systems, master the operations, master the productivity for that business, make sure it's actually turning in uh, an actual revenue in that company consistently for a very, very long time before you say, okay, now I want to do this. But once you do that, that, that foundational business and you've mastered it, now take that and have another leg in that company that goes into maybe doing digital products based off of the teachings and the learnings and the success the successes of that one foundational business. And then you may have digital products, you may have um, workshops, you may have, um, you know, you may go out and, and do um, something, I don't know, uh, parties or something that's based off the, based off of the pro types of products that you, um, the types of products that you have 
uh, in that business or whatever that you make in that business. So when I tell you guys, it is so, it is so critical. I mean, it's so, so, so critical that we understand that having all these different, different, like literally different types of businesses and calling them your multiple streams of income is very, very, very frowned upon. <laughs> it's in my life, in my world, it's frowned upon. In my coaching, it's frowned upon. What I like to do is I like to teach people how to take one foundational genius that you have, whatever that special genius is, you take that and then you, you open up different opportunities for people, for other people to interact with you in a different type of way and get paid for it. So I'm a strong believer that, okay, I know how to build businesses. I am a brand and business launch specialist. That's what I have been for the past 16, maybe 18 years now. I don't even know. Um, but that's what I've been. And I've, I've taken this one business platform, Michelle Hill and Company, and I've mastered it in different types of businesses, but I mastered the entire concept of that business, how to run a business, a, 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 a business at home, how to start from home and, and run a business, a fully viable functioning business, how to master the, the operations, how to market, how to brand, how to become your brand, how to make the money, how to process the money, how to move products, how to do like I've mastered that. Now I'm going to take all of what I've mastered in this one company or in that company, now I'm turning it into people being able to see a physical, how I'm, the, the, the um, what is the word? I don't know. But um, how to take whatever it was that I mastered in this one business platform and turn it into something that I can actually teach. That's here, hence Ignite Day. Ignite Day with Michelle Hill. Because now they see the physical aspect of it. They see that I've helped so hundreds of people brand and launch their businesses. People know my brand and they know my brand design. They know how well Michelle designs and the marketing that she does and the creativity in her writing, the copywriting and all that. Like they know me for that. Now I'm showing you how I took, I do all of that stuff in my own business. Now this business is blowing up. Is balling, honey milk is on the map, and people are recognizing it, and da 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 da. So everything that I've learned and everything that I've mastered in Michelle Hill and Company is now being um, regurgitated in Honey Milk Company, and I'm doing it. I'm living it. I'm just giving you proof that brand and business launch is my specialty. That I know how to do it, and I'm going to take my own business and I'm going to turn it into exactly that. What I've done for other people, I've made millionaires, guys. I have made, I have created millionaires. So now I'm going to take those teachings and put it in honey milk. I'm going to do it and I'm going to be successful, yada, yada, yada. Now I'm going to take that and say, okay, I can show you how to do this for yourself. So here's my third stream of income off of what I've already mastered. Do you guys follow me? Off of what I've already mastered. So now here comes Ignite Day that I put, it's a big conference, big workshop that I put on every year. And I'm teaching people how to do the same thing that I've mastered for themselves, okay? And then on top of that, the other leg is the Black Makers and in, Indie Expo, where I'm taking people that are actually building these businesses like I've built and, you know, whether it's handcrafted, whether it's retail, whatever it is, I'm taking those same teachings that I taught them how to do and I'm making a platform helping them to come and, and, and sell their stuff and learn how to be, you know, whatever, a vendor or whatever and take those teachings and now apply to their own business in the physical. So that's it. That's all I want to do. Those four streams of income, that is it. And guys, when I tell you it's not something that's happening every day, all day because Ignite Day is once, once or twice a year. Um, the Black Makers Indie Expo is four times a year. We have 352 days. I'm sorry, 362. Wait, 365 days of the year. So it's not something that's running every day like honey milk. It's not something that's running every day or five days a week like Michelle Hill and Company. So you understand what I'm saying? So it, multi, having multiple streams of income, guys, I really hope this message has helped you guys. But having... Multiple streams of income does not mean having a ton of businesses. 
starting this and starting that and starting, starting, starting. You'll be starting forever because that's something that I, I had done until I was able to even narrow it down to like maybe five businesses at one time. And even me being one person was not enough. Even me hiring people and, and interning people in those businesses was not enough. So you have to understand, it really depends on the type of business that you are starting. I always encourage people to start something that you are absolutely passionate about. Start something that you know you can duplicate if you have to. And start something that is going somewhere. Don't just start something because it's easy to do, because it's cute, because, you know, five family members like this, so maybe the world will like it. And like, guys, that is, that's just... That's delusional. Go into your passion. Whatever you are passionate about. Take a piece of paper. A blank piece of paper. Draw a circle in the middle. Just like that. Put whatever it is that you're most passionate about in that circle. And in, from in that circle, you draw legs. This is a cluster. I start this with every last one of my clients and my students. Draw a cluster and you write whatever it is that you're most passionate about in that center. And then from there, whatever stems out of that circle, you write on each leg. Write it on each leg. Guys, when I tell you this work, this is so elementary, but it works. <laughs> It works. This is called brain dumping. Take everything out of your brain and put it down on that piece of paper so you that so that you can so that you can really dissect your own heart, dissect your genius, dissect everything that makes you you and makes and everything that everybody recognizes you for. And you're going to create a business from that. That is called your special zone of genius, something that you innately do that nobody else does. It's the special, not, not playing a violin, not playing a guitar, not typing well, nothing like that. It's whatever you do, it's how you type well. It's, it's the quality that you're able to produce as a, as a really good typer or as a really good copywriter. Um, anything like that that's, that you innately do, how you approach children. Uh, I remember I did a workshop one, I think it was my second workshop. And then young lady, she was like, well, I just, I, I, blog, I draw blood. That's all I do. But it's the way I, I do it. It's the way I go about um, um, getting these kids to calm down. And, and I play with them. And I do, I reach this kid where they are. And, and, you know, I see how timid they are and how afraid they are. And yada, yada, yada. But it's just drawing blood. I don't see how I can find my genius in that. I said, that's what your genius is. It's your approach to drawing blood. It's your approach to how you're you're innately um, distributing this this calmness, this you're able to reach that kid exactly where that kid is and make a difference and then get the job done and you get paid for it and you go home. That's your genius. That's what people are gonna keep calling you back for. So that's the type of business that you want to create. That's your foundational business that you will easily and when I say guys easily you will easily master that business. That's what people are going to pay you for. So instead of running around and having a whole bunch of businesses because you think, it, you know, guys, you got to remember you have, you are still one person. You will need to be able to divide yourself amongst all these businesses and you haven't even mastered the one yet. There's not a lot of income coming from the one. So imagine if you were to take the same tenacity, the same um, drive the determination the desire and the dedication and apply it to that one thing imagine if you were to do that that's where the sort the, the major source of income is going to come um, through for you and you can take that amount the, the, the amount of work you're going to put in for this one business the amount of, of um, uh, physical work you're going to put in the amount of of money you're going to put in it doesn't now it doesn't have to be spread out across all these different ventures that you're doing you can focus on this one thing and master it and become this one thing because it stems from your genius and then go into everything else you understand what i'm saying so guys i, I promise you again multiple streams of income does not work for everybody not a lot of people know how to manage their time um 
Not a lot of people know how to manage their time. Not a lot of people can manage their time. Not a lot of people have a lot of money in order to pour into these different resources. Not a lot of us have, we just don't have it. And so a lot of us don't even have that different, that, that frame of, of thinking and we haven't even mastered our ways of thinking yet in order to apply it to different, a whole bunch of different stuff. So I challenge you guys today to manage one thing. Take whatever it is that you're really go lucky, happy, go lucky about, whatever makes your heart tick, whatever you're most passionate about, whatever keeps you just awake at night, go after that thing, but streamline it and strategize with this thing and make it become your one thing. How can I monetize this thing? Guys, um, Ignite Day is coming up next, not next year, uh, and within the next, hopefully within after spring, um, in the summer, and I'm going to be doing another Ignite Day. And this, this, this video reminds me of what I teach in these workshops because a lot of times, man, we, we waste so much time on so many other different things because nothing's fulfilling. We're, we're, we, it's so much easier for a human being to veer away from what makes them most happy. And this is it. This is across the board. What makes them most happy to go into something that they're unsure about, something that seems quicker, something that has a popcorn effect on it, something that you know, that, that looks good on the outside, but it doesn't make us feel good on the inside. And so we go after it regardless because Susie Q over there is doing well in it or Joe Blow is over there doing well in it. But that thing may not necessarily be for us. So we have to learn how to narrow in on what makes us most happy, what makes us most fulfilling, what, what we can literally do with our eyes closed. Monetize that monetize that monetize that that is your one thing that is your special genius something that you can wake up and do every day without fail you look forward to doing it it makes you happy it makes sense in your life you understand what i'm saying i understand that we all need money we all need this and any other but guys you never know what opportunities await you in that one thing that you keep running away from to start all these multiple businesses because you're trying to make you're trying to find it you probably more than likely 99 percent of the time we already have it but we keep avoiding it chasing these dreams and chasing all these different fantasies and chasing all a whole bunch of other stuff because we need money right now i don't know guys it's, that's just my experience for the past I can say now 20 years, I was always chasing this thing. I was chasing something and like speed chasing too because I would jump from one thing to the other. One thing to the other, man. I'm telling you because I needed money. I wanted money. I wanted a steady stream of income. I wanted all this money to be flowing in my life. And so whatever looked good is what I was chasing. You got to be careful about that. You got to be super, super careful about that. Start with that cluster that I showed you. Put whatever you need to put in that middle, whatever you're, what you, whatever you think you do innately well that nobody else has. Nobody else has that quality. Sure, everybody can play the violin. Sure, everybody can play football. Or sure, everybody can counsel kids or um, you know, stand up in front of an audience and speak. But how you approach it, how you go about do it, doing it, what your delivery is in the outer end, that is what your special genius is. It's what makes you it, it was it's what makes you thrive. It's what people love about you. That is your genius. All right. So you take that and you monetize that, you master that, and you turn the business into that. And it may not be exactly what it is, like um to the bare naked eye, but it may be it may be something that's underlying and that then may be the outcome that people need from you. The, the the initial business may not be your special genius, but it is definitely tied to it. So you, I want you to think about it, guys. Literally think about it. Like, literally. Don't just take this video and, and you know, go about your business. Really and truly, whatever it is that you can approach with your eyes closed, and this is what you do. Like, my special genius is being able to meet somebody exactly where they are take them from where they are and, and, and catapulting, catapulting them into the place that they can be best, their, their best selves. I do that through speaking. 
I get paid to speak. I get paid to counsel. I get paid to do um, something that absolutely makes me happy. I love it. I love helping people and hence honey milk. I love helping people and t educating them on what they're putting into their bodies and how they can, you know, heal themselves. And I don't skim the surface with what I speak, what I say to people. I completely don't skim the surface. I'm really looking at that person exactly where they are. I meet them where they are and help them go to where they need to go and, or where they're, they'll be best, um, be their best selves at, where they'll be, a, be able to better serve a world at. That's where I take them to, whether I'm talking to you, whether I'm, you know, counseling you, whether I'm coaching you, whether I'm helping you with your brand, that is my special genius. And I do that freaking amazingly well. So I pray that you guys can all get to that point and understand that, you know, having these multiple streams of income, guys, that ain't it. If you can't master that one thing, don't worry about it. Focus on mastering that one thing before you keep wasting money and valuable, valuable, precious time and going into all these things that just can't serve you. All right. So hope this video has helped you. And if it has, give me tons of hearts, likes and shares, comments. I would love to hear what you guys got to say about this um, and all that good stuff. So this has been Michelle Hill with Michelle Hill and Company and Honey Milk Company. I will talk to you guys later. Love talking to you. See you later. Bye.